Hey guys, welcome to Coffee and Bible Time. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today and just coming along with me as I study a hymn. And if this is something new to you, if you've never studied a hymn before, it's probably because I don't know anyone who's done this. Maybe there are studies on hymns, but you know, I kind of rediscovered hymns and they are so rich so meaningful and so beautiful and it's because they are chalk chalk <laughs> they are chalk full of god's word and it's just like i love them i'm so thankful that i rediscovered them so i thought why not make a video on teaching you guys how to study hymns how to draw god's word out of hymns so i also wanted to let you guys know that there is a printable that goes along with this video and the printable is way more in depth than the video i really get into how do you study hymns how can you draw out god's word how can you find certain themes stuff like that so the printable is right here link down below if you want to purchase that it's on our website coffee and bible time also within that pdf will be my favorite hymns my top I'd say 15 favorite hymns and then also my favorite hymn artists so hymns i love listening to and i listen to every day they're more modern artists and i love them i could literally listen to them every day hey Here you are. so let me go with you guys through the six points I'm going to take you through for how to study a hymn. The first point is find a hymn you love. And for this video, we're going to be studying Be Thou My Vision, which is an amazing hymn. Be Thou My Vision. Okay, I'm not a singer, but you know what I mean. So we're studying that hymn. And again, in the printable, I will have that hymn in there so you can print it out and in-depth study it with me. Point number two is to print out the printable or you can go online and find the hymn and print that out yourself as well. So the third step is to read through the hymn. And I would suggest to read through it once before listening to it with the music. After you've read it through, go into YouTube or any other app that you use to listen to music and listen to it and just focus on it and calm down, quiet your heart and listen to the hymn. So step number four for the hymn study is to find major themes within the th within the hymn so what stands out to you what is very repetitive what are themes that are happening over and over again who does god say he is who are we so i would encourage you guys to take time and annotate the hymn highlight things that are showing up over and over again so the fifth thing you want to do as you study these hymns is scripture and this is the most important part of the whole thing and it's to find scripture that goes along with these hymns this hymn was built hymns are usually built off a of foundation of scripture so as this writer was writing this hymn what was his scripture what was he pulling off of where in the Bible do we see these themes mentioned? Where can we look within our Bibles to see, oh my gosh, this hymn is rooted in scripture. So go to your Bible. I would encourage you first, try to find scripture on your own. And then once you're scriptured out, you found as much as you could, go on the internet, go into a commentary and look up these themes and see if you can find more scripture on it. And the sixth truth I want to give you guys truth and the sixth point i want to give you guys is to pull together three nuggets of truth that you can take away from this hymn so write down three things that you learned or that you thought were new or three things action steps you can take away after studying this this hymn and after really just realigning your heart with scripture what are the three things 
that you can take away from the scripture and the hymn. And so those are the six points. I hope those helped you guys. I hope those encourage you. Remember that there is a printable that goes way more in depth into this. I teach you how to do all this way more in depth and depth and even show you how I personally studied a hymn. So don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel. Don't forget that we have a podcast. <laughs> it's called Coffee and Bible Time. Can you tell I'm excited about it? I'm really excited about it. But yeah, so I hope this encouraged you guys. Tag pictures on Instagram at Coffee and Bible Time if you end up doing the hymn study. I'd love to see how you guys do it. So yeah, bye guys. Bye.